it's your boy, the one and only A Switch, aka the Cheesecake Killer, aka the the two hundred and ten times social distancing champion. It's hard to keep track. <laughs> AKA the nigga lip master. <laughs> Bringing you yet another episode of Switches Sites. Uh, episode 79 to be exact. Um, today's date is October 29th, 2020. Um, we close, man. These consoles. Uh, ever so close I could smell the newness of the consoles you know that new smell when they come out the box it's it's so close I could smell and it's it smells great you know and imaginarily if even though that's not a word but you 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 know what I mean all right you know what I mean um yeah so Jesus lot of damn news Drop this week. That's for damn sure. It's just just a barrage of, of the news. Just since last episode specifically. Um, but man, it's it's, it's great. It's great. You know, so it's, it's a great time. We're on the cusp of a brand new generation. A whole new generation. Just think about that. Let that sink in. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like I, 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 I'm going to stop acknowledging how horrible the world is currently. You know, coronavirus cases are getting crazier. Um, <laughs> reaching new records of uh, cases in a... Uh, it's just horrible. Either way, enough for the dilly dallying. Um, let's get right into it. Also, for those who don't know, Switch of Sites podcast is a podcast uh, where I talk about pretty much uh, gaming and pretty much all related stuff uh, in that realm. Um, just so you're warned, I don't. I feel like I need to do that. Um. Yeah. So let's stop the dilly dally and get right into it. Um, first topic of discussion. Um, one of the legends, myths, Hideo Kojima, uh, pretty much confirmed a new project is in fact in development. Uh, this was technically leaked, uh, more or less by his, uh, website or, uh, Twitter, Twitter page, Kojima Productions, as well as I think there were some LinkedIn uh, job listings as well that basically um, were, you know, (laughs) it's pretty hard to hide, but, you know, looking for uh, some best in class talent to work out of our Tokyo studio. So it's uh, pretty, pretty apparent that there is a new project. I think there is also some new music that I think they were either hiring for or some music that uh, dropped that they were actually, um, you know, pretty much was also a dead giveaway that um, some, a new project is in the works. We don't know if it's a continuation of Death Stranding or a brand new IP. Personally, I would like a brand new IP, something, uh, maybe close to, uh, or kind of reminiscent of metal gear. If I, if I, if I'm honest, but, uh, I've been hearing a lot of rumors about that. <clears throat> Kojima may go the horror route and actually probably, you know, um, finish that vision he may have had with, uh, silent Hills, which I also think is pretty likely as well. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really think death stranding will, will be the I don't think we'll see a Death Stranding 2 at least with Kojima's next project I I could be wrong 
if so, I hope they, mm, I doubt they would try to change what they already established with the first one in terms of like the general flow and, um, you know, I guess, uh, gameplay loop and mechanics and stuff like that. I doubt, I'm pretty sure it would probably stay what it was. Uh, I mean, the potential is there. They could kind of give it the metal gear treatment and get, make it more actiony with maybe the option of delivering packages and stuff like that. But I don't know. It's hard to say personally, either way, I would prefer a new project over a, um, uh, continuation of Death Stranded. But we'll see. Time will tell. Who knows? I mean, I mean, mm, uh, with the new PS5, you know, they are going to go crazy on that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, at least good to know that, that we have some confirmation uh, that, in fact, <laughs> Kojima Productions is still standing. I think maybe some people, I think, were possibly concerned that the 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 studio may have been because I think yeah they said uh Death Stranding did okay it did it was it did enough to I guess keep the studio afloat pretty much uh but you know didn't knock socks off didn't uh you know I don't know make the crowd go wild I don't I don't I don't I'm trying to find these analogies but they're not they're not coming so Cool stuff either way. Uh, moving on. Uh, oh boy. Um, Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, <laughs> the delay, st- <laughs> the delay story continues. Um, what's kind of, I, I think what kind of also makes this worse is that, uh, this is after, uh, Cyberpunk 2077 was confirmed to be gold. And for those that may not know, um, in the video game realm, at least, I'm not sure if it's the same or applies the same for other like media and movies or something, but when a game goes gold, that means it's pretty much done and it's ready to be, uh, I forgot the term mass copied or they're ready to send a mass, a master copy out to be copied and distributed and, you know, uh, all that good stuff, uh, where, you know, it eventually gets into our hands to enjoy and all that, uh, uh, futuristic punk goodness. Um, but, uh, apparently, uh, CD project where it was like, Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Um, uh, you, uh, can I get that back though? <laughs> That's at least what I, I envision it, but uh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> so, well, wait a minute. Um, let me. Can I please get that back? <laughs> oh, it's 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 just sad and funny at the same time. Cause I mean, I, I I'm definitely very pumped for the game. I mean, uh, of course, considering you know the concerns of transphobia and stuff, which you know I'm I'm not a I'm, I'm against for sure, but. I am looking forward to the game and, you know, for the people that did put their blood, sweat and tears into the game, um, I, I do want to see that to its fruition. Um, but yeah, man, (laughs) Ah, not a good look, but this, I think it's 21 days, uh, being pushed back or I guess more or less three weeks. Um, it sucks. Uh, and I guess we should read the statement. It's, um, further clarification and uh, closure uh, about this issue. So (laughs) let me get my, (laughs) gotta get my uh, presenter speak on. (laughs) Hey everyone. Today we've decided to move the release date of cyber cyberpunk 2077 by 21 days. The new release date is December 10th. Most likely, there are many emotions and questions in your head. So, first and foremost, please accept our humble apologies. 
the biggest challenge for us right now is shipping the game on current gen, next gen, and PC at the same time. <laughs> I'm having a hard time doing it. Okay. Uh, hmm. Which requires us to repair and test nine versions of it. Xbox One X compatibility on Xbox Series S X PS slash Pro compatibility on PS5 PC Stadia while working from home. Since Cyberpunk 2077 evolved towards almost being a next gen title somewhere along the way, we need to make sure everything works well and every version runs smoothly. We are aware it might seem unrealistic when someone says that 21 days can make any difference in such a massive and complex game, but they really do. Some of you might also be wondering what these these words mean in light of us saying we achieved gold master some time ago, passing certification or going gold means that the game is ready and be completed and has all content in it. But it doesn't mean we stop working on it and raise the quality bar. On the contrary, this is the time where many improvements are being made, which will then be distributed via day zero patch. This is the time period we undercalculated. We feel we have an amazing game on our hands and are willing to make every decision, even the hardest ones, if it ultimately leads to you getting a video game you'll fall in love with. So, I mean, there you go. I uh, kind of disappointed that we didn't get the experience. We didn't get, get an experience in there, but you know what? <sighs> Can't have it all. So, yeah. So, uh, I mean, understandably so. A lot of people are pissed. <laughs> I think there was one dude that like <laughs> straight up like, <laughs> uh, I think there's a twit, uh, uh, on Twitter, a guy replied, okay, so I, so just so, just so I know, uh, December or November 19th, I can take the day off. Right. And then cyberpunk Twitter was like, yep, yep. No more delays. <laughs> that poor dude, he, he, he gonna be sitting on <laughs> November 19th with, you know, just, just cyberpunk 2077. Listen, it's like, what can you do? Uh, I don't know why this is so funny to me, but I'll, um, it is, it is killing me right now. <laughs> oh man. Um, but I mean, it's actually kind of good, at least personally, I think it's good. I mean, that's always how I feel about delays. I mean, one, it, it gives people more time to finish the game, which is kind of unfortunate for the people that are working for CD Projekt Red. And you know, the probably insane crunch further that they're going to have again, um, you know, in terms of like, uh, coverage, Jason Schreier has been doing about like how there's been, you know, a lot of, uh, unnecessary questionable crunch, uh, during this whole development process, especially considering, uh, when you factor in all these, um, delays, and presumably crunch has been happening each of these delays with this game. So it's, uh, it's, it's just, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's a, it's, it's a double edged sword in a lot of ways. So best of luck to them though. I mean, you know, in terms of this game actually delivering, considering all the blood, sweat and tears of all the developers and stuff and grief. Uh, CD Projekt Red has been catching for stuff like this. So what can you do? What can you do? Uh, <laughs> keeping this, <laughs> keeping this, uh, delay train going. 
Oh man, I don't know why that's funny to me. Um, um, yeah. So Far Cry Six and Rainbow Six Quarantine have both been delayed uh, and planned after April twenty twenty one. So, uh, yeah. So that's that's good. Um. But I mean, honestly, with this season, this fall season, the new consoles and everything, I'm honestly fine with it. I know a lot of people are probably maybe will only play Rainbow Six and was looking forward to quarantine, even though I think quarantine is just it's just basically a single player like expansion ish thing on Rainbow Six or I think it's like a, a co op focused um uh type deal, but Far Cry 6 that I think now when was that I think that was supposed to oh no I think that was supposed to come out next year in February I think so considering that not too far off for that um yeah you know I, I mean yeah I didn't get it's like I, I've, I've I've only played a bit of Far Cry 1 I've still got to catch up so more than likely I'll catch up and be able to play Far Cry 6 just in time, which that, that'll be great. So, I don't know. Uh, still keeping that, <laughs> still keeping that delay train going. <laughs> uh, man um destruction all stars has been also delayed uh it was set to come out uh be a launch title for the ps5 um but has now been delayed to february 2021 but with a little icing on the end of that cupcake though where it'll also be part of playstation plus for two months so if you have a playstation plus description uh description subscription uh you'll be able to play um be able to play this uh for free for free um so that's good because i mean i think the pretty common consensus uh that nobody is paying 70 dollars for this damn game um it, it you know even looking at the trailers and everything it it did not scream I must get this for seventy dollars. No, it, nah, bruh, didn't, did not, did not look like that at all. So, um, yeah. Uh, so I think very smart move, uh, for Sony or whomever was involved in making this decision ultimately to actually, um, make this free for PlayStation Plus members because, yeah. It was, it was for sure going to tank also pushing it back to February where there's a lot more breathing room. We will be done playing, playing our spider mans and our demon souls. Um, so smart move, Sony and whomever was involved in this. Cause having that foresight was, was very key here. Cause I'm like, I'm, I'm waiting till that, that, <laughs> that price get low. So. Uh, I think they also refunded people who pre-ordered the game, like the, the 10 of you that may have, <laughs> may have did that. Um, so all's well that ends well, you know, um, keep it in line with Sony news. Um, looks like the PS fives actually, uh, got sent to press and media. Um, I, as myself, I got no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if only no. Um, so a lot of the media, uh, did actually get PS fives and, you know, just dissected them. Um, uh, we got a lot of unboxes, like <laughs> my whole YouTube feed was just unboxes everywhere. Um, but yeah, we, uh, got unboxings. I think they did some limited coverage of 
Astro's rescue bot mission. I feel like I'm totally butchering that, but uh, the the one Astro game that was shown um, that will be bundled in with the PS5 um, uh, pre-installed um, on day one. So uh, they showed like, the, I think people were only allowed to show the first level. Um, looks looks pretty cool. I mean, for free, I'm definitely going to try it out. That actually might be my first game to kind of like, you know, get the feet wet, if you will. Um, not the controller though, cause that's just dangerous, but you know, um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, at least in terms of getting a sense of size. Yeah. That boy, that boy, big, that boy, big. I, I literally like after seeing the unboxings and stuff, I like had to re like re like figure out restructure how I was planning, uh, the spaces I was planning to set my consoles at, but now I'm like, yeah, I don't think that PS five is going to co- comfortably fit. So I had to shift some, uh, shift some consoles around to make room for it. So at least kind of what I'm dead set on is I think we're going to have the PS five, uh, team horizontal. Um, there was a pretty cool thread on reset era about like, uh, are you team vertical or team horizontal? And man, I was super surprised that, uh, seemed like, uh, it's, it was like 50, 50. I was, I was literally, uh, thought a lot more people would go vertical since I feel like I, for sure for the series X that that's where both consoles, I think are like kind of, I don't want to say implied, but maybe yeah 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 implied to like you know be positioned um so you know but uh yeah at least from what we saw uh pretty straightforward i mean you get you get the console you get the cables uh i know one question a lot of people include myself had uh <laughs> i think <laughs> I think us as like video game enthusiasts, like where we like, uh, oh my God, like just, uh, immediately resorting to the worst, like, oh my God, I got to prepare for this or whatever. But uh, I think a lot of people were, uh, concerned that the included cables with the consoles, uh, would be, um, not HDMI 2.1 compatible. And for those that may be unaware, HDMI 2.1 is, is the, the bandwidth or, uh, HDMI standard you'll need, um, to play games at 4k, 120 Hertz, um, on more than likely your newer TVs and uh, older TVs more than likely won't have it, um, at this point. But, um, yeah, so a lot of people are concerned like, oh crap, gotta have to get a, uh, gotta get a damn HDMI 2.1 cable, my Jesus, you know, so, um, it's good to hear either way, uh, that that was, um, uh, concern. Uh, one thing I'm curious about, I feel like there hasn't been much coverage on is like, if the HDMI 2.1 actually works, cause I know there's been, been a little rough patch as if the, uh, RTX 3090 was any concern was that, uh, HDMI 2.1 is, was generally iffy unless you got this, um, uh, uh, firmware update, at least for like LG TVs. I know, um, probably the same, uh, ordeal possibly with some other, other brand TVs that, uh, have the same standard. So little stuff like that, that I'm pretty sure we'll probably get more insight on closer to, uh, the release of a uh, next generation, man. That's crazy. It's crazy, man. You know, it's surreal. Um, but yeah, I mean like, uh, Hans was out in the wild and, uh, people will, <laughs> people can't say much about, uh, uh, the, the PS five yet, it seems, uh, in terms of like embargoes and stuff. So pretty sure, uh, we have a very short amount of time before they, they drop. So 
sooner than later we'll get more details um pretty cool regardless uh kind of following sweet uh sweet suit with uh ps5 uh xbox series x also um released or dropped their embargo for unboxings so um you know pretty much the same deal with uh i will say if 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 we're comparing unboxing experiences um uh the the uh, series s and x i think both have very really cool like like apple level like unboxing experiences where um you know it just overall feels premium you know what i mean like you like this product you're getting is like is straight up premium you know so um yeah so <laughs> i would be would be very disappointed if xbox didn't uh wasn't uh the the best unboxing is not xbox you know so it's good it's good to see good to hear uh it's kind of crazy how the series s is like super small too i think that was like kind of from what i observed that was like the common takeaway from the console is just like how super small it is um you know especially compared to these damn gargantuan consoles uh currently so i mean it's uh it's cool man it's great it's great it's a great time to be a gamer man i'm just i'm just 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 to let that be known so let that be just put that out there in case anybody anybody was on the fence uh, it's a great time to jump in if you have yet the water's the water's fine you know it's not gonna burn a little bit you know just and burn you know if it burn your feet is good for you <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I did that, but you know, I did, I'll, I'll stand by it. Uh, moving on, um, Nintendo direct mini partner showcase for October came out of nowhere, uh, yesterday, Wednesday. Um, and man, it, it was some big takeaways. It was some, it was some pretty big takeaways. Um, you know, for your RPG fans out there, you got your Bravely Default 2. Uh, you know, it seems like they still got the little nubby, nubby, um, little nubby feet. If, if y'all into that stuff, I don't know. I mean, you do you, but you know, uh, them, them nubby feet still, <laughs> them nubby feet still gonna stay. <laughs> the developers was like, hey, all right. We will improve the graphics and everything, but uh, these nubby feet, uh, no, that's where I, that's where I cut the line. We keep in the nubby feet. Anybody have a disagreement? Talk to me. This is probably straight up out. <laughs> they had a meeting with Nintendo. Nintendo said, like, hey, you know, um, one thing about Burger Default, well, we, the nubby feet, I don't, I wasn't really feeling that. So can we, <laughs> no, we are not. Next question. <laughs> Just shut his ass down. Um, yeah. So bravely default. Um, we saw a little bit of Hyrule warriors, age of calamity. Uh, apparently, uh, the demo actually dropped, um, uh, yesterday as well. Definitely plan to check that out. Um, also, uh, from what I've been hearing, it's like a hefty demo. And I think also, uh, your save progress will transfer over from, um, the demo to the main game, which is always a nice plus Nintendo always, always got that on lock, you know, um, couple other games that necessarily didn't really stand out to me, but, uh, there was one that, uh, did drastically and very much so. And, uh, uh, made me lose my shit a little bit. Um, not in the, the same way that, you know, Travis touchdown would, but, um, no more heroes three. Uh, we got a pretty satisfying trailer for three. Uh, which will be releasing in 2021, which, you know, uh, in a couple previous episodes, we 
uh, talked about how uh, they did announce that the game, which was originally planned to be released, I think in De- December, I don't think they gave a definitive date, but it was supposed to be released by this year, um, was pushed back to next year. So either way, uh, from that goddamn trailer, man, my goodness, that I am so fucking amped for this game. I, uh, 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 everything I wanted from, from this game, uh, I definitely felt, uh, I got from that trailer alone, which is fantastic to hear and see. Um, so, you know, you, uh, got Travis with, with, with the, with the famous beam Katana. Uh, he got, he got the wrestling moves. Oh, don't worry. Them wrestling moves was still there. He, uh, suplexed the dude. Uh, it was kind of cool how they do did uh it seems like they do uh, a new camera angle when he does wrestling moves, which is dope. Um, they also uh showed Sylvia uh the the god in your madness. That's I'm sorry. That's my it's my uh it's my German German accent. I know it's uh might need a little work. Might need a little work, but. You know what? It don't matter. Um, they show what seems to be like the new, I guess, allegiance of enemies, like uh, bosses, more than likely, uh, which was which was dope. You know, you got the anime vibe. Fucking fucking Travis got his got his head his forehead. He's like, let me let me put, let me rub my forehead on yours, uh, main uh, antagonist of the game. Let me rub my forehead on yours. We going we gonna touch foreheads because. We gonna be we gonna be fighting throughout the whole game, and I was like, "Yes, I'm ready, Travis. I'm ready, blue guy, blue dreaded guy, weird alien guy. I'm ready as well. Give me it all." So you definitely get like a very good impression of the presentation, and like everything seemed way more vibrant, colorful, uh, which is good. Um, uh, definitely very pleasing. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. I feel like this game is definitely going to be uh, one um, one of the, I guess, proponents and uh, candidates and showcases of uh, the inevitable uh, Switch Pro or Switch Switch Uber Switch Switch again Switch Switch strikes again because it want to tie tie in with Travis. Uh, and be the all in one, no more heroes console, whatever. Um, I, I really do think, um, it's going to be a showcase, uh, switch plus title that will like, you know, utilize the capabilities of this, uh, po- new, uh, rumored, uh, slightly more powerful switch, which, uh, I think will be definitely a great move. I, I would f- certainly take this game being delayed and resulting to be supported fully by this, uh, new console for sure. So that's my, that's a bold prediction. I think is going to happen and come to reality that, um, I really do hope, uh, does happen. So, um, and you know, during that trailer, uh, you know, they, I was like, Oh my God, Oh, I'm spent. I'm spent. I'm spent. Oh my God. Ugh, ugh, you know, just, just all over the room, just all over. I couldn't contain it. It just, it just came, <laughs> it just came out. And then, uh, I'm like, oh, uh, uh, I was just tired. And then, and then fucking, fucking, uh, there's like, oh, but wait, there's more. And then there's like, no more heroes, one and two. Oh my God. Oh, this is, what are y'all doing? Oh my goodness. Uh, they was like, oh, okay. Oh Jesus. Uh, I, I, I don't have any more in me. And then, and then, and then they were like dropping, releasing right now. Oh, oh my, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. And I, I like passed out for like four hours and then I woke up and I was like, what happened? And then it's my room is just in a disarray of just this weird liquid and, and goo. And I'm like, what is this? And you know, yeah, it was, it was a whole ordeal. And you know, the only person I have to blame for that is a uh, suit of 51 and 
his team for, um, you know, um, providing this immaculate showing of everything that was great. And, uh, it was, it was, I was so satiated. I was, I've never been so satiated in my life until, until, <laughs> until yesterday. That was, that was, I've re I reached peak satiation and it, uh, it was, it was satisfying. <laughs> I was satisfied by the peak satiation. That's how, that's how satisfied I was. So, um, yeah, man. So, uh, no more heroes one and two. Finally, finally ported on the switch. And apparently from what I'm hearing, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a wonderful definitive port of the game. Uh, and, and this was a big, this was a make or break for me personally, uh, motion controls, motion controls. I can, uh, look like I'm jerking off, uh, while playing the game. And that was my only hope and aspiration, uh, for this port. And it seems like they delivered on that promise. So, um, thank you. Suda 51. I can look like an idiot jerking off playing your game, uh, in, in happiness and joy and, and, and bliss. Uh, so I am appreciative of that. Um, so yeah, uh, just a PSA. I mean, uh, I know you may be hearing this podcast and you're like, what the fuck is this, this black dude talking about? No more heroes, but, um, do yourself a favor, at least at the very least, try out no more heroes one. Um, if you love anime esque stuff, uh, some really cool stylish, uh, vibes, uh, Travis being, a just, just being, just being an otaku nerd that I know a lot of us can relate to, uh, uh, oh, it, you owe it to yourself to play, uh, at least no more heroes one and give it a try. Um, it is on discount, uh, like, a uh, a, a shadow drop discount where it's like, uh, I think it's a discount to like November 14th. I want to say, uh, for both games, if you know. Uh, you feeling, you feeling, uh, you feeling raunchy. I don't, I don't know. Uh, even raunchy people maybe, but I don't, I don't know. So, you know, do yourself a favor and do that. Um, for yourself, for your enrichment in life. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, don't take my word for it. I mean, and also 1080p 60 frames per second. The game kind of ran, it had its moments, uh, but it ran, uh, suggest su suggestively at times, but it really does seem like this is, uh, the definitive additions of the game. So, I mean, you have no excuse. You can pretty much catch up. I mean, the games are pretty, uh, not short, but pretty decent. Like I think both are generally like 10, six to 10 hours, depending on, you know, uh, probably first playthrough is longer. Um, uh, due to like mini game segments and stuff like that. But you know, either way, uh, they're pretty decent, decently sized games that, uh, you can, uh, don't won't won't demand too much of your time. Basically is what I'm saying. So, um, this is a no more hero stand, um, a podcast. So, I mean, you know, didn't, didn't want to put that out there, but you know, just, just, just had to, just had to establish that in case somebody was 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 trying to guess and didn't know what time it was. Uh, it, it's, it's no more heroes o'clock. So, um, yeah. So, uh, get no more heroes. That's pretty much the, um, takeaway from this, uh, this whole Nintendo direct mini. Also, if you ended it, if you <laughs> also, if you ended in nubby feats, uh, get, get, get bravely default too as well. I mean, whenever that comes out, I don't know. I'm sorry. Just, just no more heroes was the, was the, was the biggest takeaway for me personally. Cause, uh, that game speaks to me on so many levels. It, uh, it, I, I played it at a time, a very impressionable time. Um, and yeah, just it, the game really resonated with me and on so many levels, uh, that I could identify with <laughs> good, good and bad. But, uh, I, I think it's, it's, it's a pretty great game. Uh, I highly recommend it. 
And yeah, um, I can't wait to check it out myself because, oh, oh, love that. Love that series. I really do. It just oozes so much personality and just style. Uh, there may be some jankiness to it, uh, depending on how, how sensitive you are to that stuff. But I think the style, the style, uh, of it and, and personality and like just, yeah, I guess really that, uh, really, I think does, uh, make a, a lot, make up for a lot of that. So there you go, man. I mean, ugh. That literally made my whole week. I was like, I was gushing like, like a damn school girl over like their, their, um, their, uh, boy band crush on Twitter. And, uh, I just, I, I, I mean, I got, I got a damn, I got, I, I got a damn custom, uh, switch shield, uh, with no more heroes. I mean, I, I knew this was going to happen. And this validation just made it made everything feel so great. So, you know, all right. <laughs> Enough of me. I, I there I go again gushing over this game. But you know, I'm I'm sorry. I this has to be addressed and 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 you know put out in the universe that uh, this game is great. Support this game so Suda can make a lot of kooky great. Um, just weird ass shit that I, I will eat up. Um, please, please. And thank you. Um, also hopefully, uh, killer seven makes its way onto, uh, you know, consoles, um, considering it was ported to the PC, uh, would be wonderful to have that ported. I will play that again in a heartbeat. Don't you play with me. Don't you dare play with me. So, <laughs> Ugh. All that, all, all that, uh, all that, um, all that, that thirst made me parched. So I'm, I was so, I got so thirsty talking about that game that I had to, um, had to hydrate, uh, and drink water like you should be doing. So there, there you go. Um, yeah. So, uh, no more heroes, you know, um, I don't feel shit. I mean, you'll get, you'll get what that means when you play the game. So, you know, gave you a little, gave you a little, uh, gave you a little fruit snack for you to, you know, enjoy later. If you play the, <laughs> uh, I am, I'm not doing it with these analogies. Clearly, um, moving on, um, some news came out further details, uh, regarding that demon souls. Uh, there was a interview, uh, on game informer where they, uh, asked some, it was actually a pretty good interview. They asked some very, uh, intricate questions for like, you know, fans of, of the game that I, 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 I personally appreciate it. Uh, especially me personally, you know, coming off of playing, uh, playing it like two years ago, uh, which is pretty crazy. Like, not knowing this was going to happen, but it's like, now I have a pretty semi, uh, fresh template in my head about the game and what to expect and, and, not, and have that inter interesting perspective of things they would, would, or could potentially change and, you know, kind of be able to compare and contrast in that respect. But, um, we did get some hard, hard, uh, new details regarding the game that maybe some people were curious about. Um, but I know one, which is weird. I guess I don't get why people would think this, that there, no, there is no difficulty. Um, uh, you can't adjust the difficulty, which is like, what are you even doing? Like, you know what you get into playing this, this type of game. It's like, what you, you won't, I mean, you gonna, you gonna put a, you gonna put a pacifier in your mouth and play this game or something. All right. Just go home to your mommy. If you, if you going to think this, this type of game going to have a difficulty slider. That's all. That's all I'm saying. That's, that's my stance on making a, a, a game that's reputably known for being difficult, uh, to have a difficulty slider. You know what I mean? I'm just, that's just me, you know, but 
but I digress. Uh, there's also going to be two modes, uh, cinematic mode, which is 4k 30 FPS. Um, and then there's also going to be a uh, performance mode, which will be a uh, dynamic 4k, uh, but uh, 60 FPS. So I know in the interview, they was talking, they were talking about that, that potentially would give you an advantage where, you know, due to the increased frame rate, you technically will have uh increased reaction time, uh, you know, for people that just can't get, <laughs> I can't even finish that people that just can't get good, of course. So, I mean, you know, there, there's your difficulty slider. If you want, uh, if you want to, uh, uh, get the damn pacifier, no, actually keep the damn pacifier in your mouth and play this damn game because you were, cause you was a baby. <laughs> Oh man. Uh that's <laughs> uh, that's killing me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cause you, <laughs> Cause you know there's somebody out there that's straight up like that. Oh man. Uh okay. Uh you can also apply filters, so kinda like um I'm assuming like uh Ghost of Tsushima where you can do like the really cool filters or like, uh, the cool sour molding goes to the where it's like, uh, black and white, which is pretty dope. So there is that, um, classic filter. So, uh, you can actually for the, if you're weird as hell and no, actually, I think there's some merit to it doing this, um, uh, where you can actually make the game look more like the original PS3 game. So, um, apparently there's a sixth, 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 a sixth arch stone, which I guess was, uh, I think a rumored thing, uh, from the main game that like something that like was scrapped, I think during development. And, like, I think some people suspected that there might've been a, a uh, sixth level, they, they might've added to this remake or something like that, which, uh, they did confirm that there is, there won't be. And, um, yeah, like I said earlier, no difficulty settings for you babies with your damn past, get your mom's hitty out your damn mouth. Oh my God. That is killing me, man. Uh, 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 I need to really personify that character at some point. <laughs> your damn titty out your mouth. Uh, let me stop. Let me stop. All in all, um, looks like this is going to be, yeah, pretty damn great, uh, faithful remake, which I think that's always been the issue with, um, with remakes, uh, where it's, it's, it's like a very delicate balance between, um, and, and fine line between, you know, uh, doing too much and changing the game from the original vision. It was like, you know, intended, uh, to like not doing too much to where the game just feels like it's actually a remaster than a remake. So it seems like they're making the right calls with, um, you know, uh, keeping the, I guess, integrity of the game design intact of what the original, you know, from software developers intended, which is pretty dope. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to die 200 times in a row and, and love every minute of it. Um, and you know, uh, potentially destroy everything out of frustration. Uh, you know, put this, <laughs> put this PS five controller to work, you know? <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, I'm ready though. I'm ready. At least the loaded times will be like insanely better too. I hear the loaded times are basically non-existent. So I think that definitely will help with, uh, you know, the frustration and dealing with, uh, dying less where you're like, you know, you get your ass like beat up by a little, little, little nibble monster. And then you like, man, what am I doing with my life? 
And then you like contemplating everything and you like, who am I? And then you go into this whole like introspective journey within yourself. And then you're like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not who I am anymore. And then you just leave. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's, that's maybe that. I think that's too deep for myself, actually. And I don't think about it, but, um, well, now you don't have to worry about that. So with demon souls with non-existent loading times, you can die and die again in you know, a more enjoyable fashion and not as unpleasant as other times. So also, I think there, uh, I, I don't think I mentioned photo mode, which is pretty dope. Uh, you won't, uh, I know in the interview, they said you won't be able to exploit that. Like, you know, if you get invaded by somebody, you can't like hit photo mode and then like at least <laughs> stay in photo mode until they leave or something like that more than likely. Um, no, they, they, uh, I think they take you out of photo mode or you can't when you're, you know, invaded. So they're making the right calls of, you know, faithfully, I think transitioning this game, uh, to a new generation of people that haven't played, uh, this, uh, the PS3 version. So pretty cool. I am, I am excited. I am so excited. Um, next topic of discussion. Uh, I, that is one topic I did forget about the Nintendo direct. Um, there was a weird inclusion of a, a lot of cloud games where essentially you, um, I guess download uh, an app that I guess does a check if your internet is good and you're essentially playing a game over the cloud. And they showed a few of those on the Nintendo direct, which was a uh, Hitman three and, um, uh, control, uh, as well, which are, you know, fairly obvious games that generally would not run on a switch on its current hardware. Um, but yeah, uh, which is something we saw, uh, for, uh, in Japan, where they were experimenting with resident evil seven, uh, having a cloud version of those games, uh, or resident evil seven in particular, where you can, could stream the game, uh, to your switch. Um, which, you know, obviously is, would make sense if the game can't run it, um, on its own hardware, which is pretty interesting. I mean, I've never, I obviously personally haven't done it since it was only in Japan, but now that it's starting to come out in, uh, the U S it's uh pretty interesting there. Um, yeah, just quality. I mean, you can, you'll be able to play it. So, I mean, that's better than nothing really for people that don't have like uh, a console to play it on. So, uh, but with that in, in mind, uh, it seems like, um, the Nintendo switch version of resident evil three also got data mined from that same cloud version, uh, cloud, uh, control cloud version website. So, uh, apparently, um, more than likely resident evil three will be coming to the switch in cloud form. So you can play resident evil three on your switch technically, um, uh, through the cloud, which is going to be interesting. I, I, it, it's going to be interesting to see like their approach with how they do this because, um, it's just a lot of, a lot of factors that come into play. I mean, obviously the biggest one being internet quality and you know, how subjective and contingent that's, that it, that's going to be for a lot of people, but yeah, that's really the biggest kind of takeaway, but I mean, it, they already had it going in Japan. So, I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't get it going out here. So if anything, it is, it's going to be a viable avenue for people that obviously, you know, um, for whatever reason, maybe didn't have the opportunity to play these games before, but, uh, I don't see how that's gonna definitely, I pretty certain it won't be the optimal version, obviously for obvious reasons, but, um, I'm, I'm just kind of fascinated to 
it's like I I I want to mess with it just to mess with it, but not necessarily. Kind of similar to uh, Google Stadia and stuff like I uh, like I was a shill and got a Stadia just to, just out of curiosity, just maybe this might blow up. Like, you know, maybe this might be really great, a great platform where at least as of now, at least it wasn't wasn't really the best decision. But uh, I mean, the option is still there and, you know, maybe they can improve on that. Who knows? But. It's uh, it's very weird. But I mean, uh, I mean, that's this probably might be their their workaround for some games that they want on the switch that they just can't from a development standpoint. So. It's an option, you know, it's an option. I'm I, I'm I'm be very curious to see like YouTubers and stuff kind of mess with this in different environments and, you know, get their perspective on it. I think you can actually download control now and play it uh, for free. Or maybe there's a time period. I don't, I'm, I'm not quite sure how that works. I would assume you could play for free for a particular time period and then they'll start charging or something. I don't know. But either way, a uh, pretty interesting tidbit there. So for those people who, um, you know, are displeased with the PlayStation fives, uh, overall look and design, um, like that, that boy fugly. Uh, what? Well, why is this router gonna be in my house? I don't. <laughs> Some people have probably said that. To the, let's be honest. Um, you can actually, um, which they did show on the breakdown, is that you can actually pretty surprisingly easily, like some straight up Xbox faceplate levels, um, remove the um the panels on the PS5 to the point where you can like li- literally make it look like a new console with, uh, you know, if you were to put other face plates on, which, uh, some company has already stood up to the challenge. Um, I think they're called, yeah. Plate station five <laughs> are basically custom PS five, uh, face plates. You can actually, uh, pre-order now. Um, they have a uh, matte black, Oh, they have Chrome. That's new. That's pretty dope. Chrome. That's kind of tight. Not gonna lie. Uh, they got red. They got the, they got the army camo. They got, and they got the straight up blue, blue, that blue speaking to me though. Uh, blue Chrome matte black. Those are the ones I really like. And I'm just putting that out there for y'all. Um, I'm just saying, if you want to get real creative and unique, I mean, I'm just, you didn't hear from me, but I'm just saying maybe get, Maybe get a blue one, maybe get a chrome one, maybe get a matte black one, maybe uh, on the top, put, put, put like the, put like the chrome on top on the bottom, maybe put the black and blue. There you go. I'm just, I'm, that's just, that's just game. I'm trying to spit to y'all. Okay. Um, take that for what you will, right? Just take that for what you will. Um, but <laughs> with a little caveat. Uh, it's kind of questionable in terms of like how these people were able to fully get the dimensions of this, considering it technically, well, there's a lot of factors because it's pretty, I think it's pretty safe to assume they didn't, they don't have, or didn't get an early P PlayStation five to, you know, fully test these dynamics out yet. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of that to kind of consider. So, I mean, personally, I, 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 I will wait until they actually, you know, the PlayStation's released and there's some time for them to actually test these and, you know, watch some reviews and stuff on YouTube and stuff and see people actually, you know, have these in hand and, you know, uh, show the whole experience of them, um, you know, swapping these out, see if it's actually legit or, you know, uh, hopefully not a scam. So I'm just saying, just, just look for, look from afar for now. And then when the moment is right, just pounce, just pounce and just pounce and put, sink your teeth in, um, you know, with reckless abandon, you know, so pretty cool though. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can see this is definitely going to be a train. You're going to see a lot of people hop on and, um, 
uh, you know, get crazy with all these uh, custom face plates, which I'm definitely looking forward to. Because uh, this is speaking to me on so many levels. I mean, I think, uh, especially after looking at the PS5 um, overall design in terms of like uh, seeing the further unboxings now, even though, you know, we had the Japan, uh, Japanese unbox, uh, not, uh, not unboxings, but um, video showing the PS5 as well. But just getting a better, tangible, realistic kind of view of it so far. It looks pretty good. I've, I've warmed up to it and I think it seems like, uh, weirdly enough, it just doesn't seem photogenic if that makes sense. But I think it's one of those consoles when you have it in your home and you're like, you, you see it in person. I think it looks better. I mean, you know, that's what she said in my room. <laughs> uh, let me stop. I didn't try. I did. I wasn't working up to that. It just, that just came out. I'm sorry. It's like, it's the same issue uh, that uh, Michael Scott has that I got to, you know, you just, you just can't help it. You just, that's what she said. You know, I'm sorry. Um, cool stuff though. I mean, for you, for you enthusiasts out there that like to, you know, customize your shit. This is it. I, I will wait though. I'll wait a little bit, but say if the, if it's legit, you know, pounds, if <laughs> Quarter 2020. If it's legit, I don't. Uh, that's 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 some wrong implications. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, moving on. Uh, God of War. Um, they dropping that heat. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, they. It seems like a lot of uh, uh developers are coming out with these 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 very, very gracious announcements that I'm very appreciative of personally that, uh, they drop in these, uh, update patches, uh, pretty much in the anticipation of the, the PS five in terms of, uh, backwards compatibility, um, where it seems like the, um, PS five, uh, presumably will be able to, um, run these games better and in, tis, and in anticipation of that, uh, some of these are making it, you know, tweaks and stuff like, for example, God of War, uh, they will have a performance video mode, which will allow 60 FPS on PS five. And they did announce saves can be transferred from PS four to PS five. Feels good. God of War is doing what Sony Spider-Man could not apparently. So, you know, um, that's, it's, it's great, man. It's great. Get ready. Let's get ready, man. It's, it's about to be crazy. Uh, yeah. So, um, I think this is definitely for me warrants, uh, another playthrough of God of War. Cause I, I definitely played it first time. Never, never went back after that, but, uh, it's definitely, I think it's time. Uh, we, we got the announcement confirmation of the sequel as, as I think they said it's going to be next year. I think they said it's going to be next year. So boy, get, get your boots ready. And I, you know, it might get wet because of, <laughs> I don't know why it's going to get wet. I'm just saying, get ready. Uh, moving on, uh, keeping in line with the, uh, great update news, uh, days gone has also announced that they uh, are dropping a 25 gigabyte update that will have, um, that will, you know, have, uh, updates in it more than likely in anticipation of the PS five, uh, 25 gigabytes. So according to the patch notes, added operational stability improvements, address crashing issues, fix frame rate, drop and lag issues, performance, and that good old juicy stability, you know, it, you know, it. So, um, it's pretty dope. Pretty damn dope. Uh, I think that's also kind of in line with the last was remastered. Like 
I want to say I, I talked about it last episode, but like, like a drastic re- reduction in load times, which is kind of crazy. It makes you think like h- how and why didn't they do this in the first place? But, I don't know. you know, people had, had to move on other projects and stuff. I assume, you know, I don't know. Uh, or maybe, uh, maybe whoever, whoever was the genius that, uh, worked on Ghost of Tsushima and their ridiculous low times, you know, they maybe, maybe <laughs> had them go all over, all across PlayStation, uh, PlayStation studios, I guess now, uh, just drop that, drop that knowledge. I don't know. So you love to see it. You love to hear it. You love to feel it. I don't, I don't, uh, keep it in line with that PS news um and just just weirdness that and unexpectedness as well uh yeah so travis scott you know a famous rapper performer uh you know all of the above um kylie jenner's baby baby daddy uh as well as uh lover i don't <laughs> it's probably not the best flattering terms but um he announced uh as well as playstation announced that they are uh collaborating or more or less travis scott has this has been announced as a strategic partner for playstation so what this kind of implies i don't know it feels at least for somebody who roughly knows about Travis Scott, you know, in terms of like the moves he's been making so far, like, you know, the crazy Fortnite um, event where he, you know, had a straight up live show within the game. And then um, McDonald's, the McDonald's collaboration, which is kind of surreal too. Uh, let me get that Travis Scott bill. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. And, you know, merchandise and stuff. So, I mean, he's, he's blown up and I think he's probably, one of the top artists to, you know, I guess be impressionable of a particular generation of consoles, I guess, even though PlayStation doesn't really need that necessarily, but, um, yeah, I, I guess I I'm not necessarily certain what this means, uh, being a strategic partner. It just feels like it's like, uh, it's like, it's like being drafted. I get uh, not that's probably not the best. I feel like it's more of an endorsement than a, you know, I don't know. Other than that, I feel like he's just like, you know, a sponsor, like he's sponsored by Sony. It feels like that's the impression I get. I don't know. It's hard for me to like fathom and envision him making like the top decisions more or less, if that makes sense. I don't know, but who knows? Maybe he, maybe he got the pull like that. I, I could know nothing. Maybe we going to get, we going to get our nuggets. We going to get a free, um, McDonald's, uh, Travis Scott meal with our purchase of a Sony PS5. I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, it's cool though. It's cool to see like the lines crossing generations, um, kind of merging, if you will. And like, you know, Sony embracing, uh, embracing the newer, not newer, but pop culture slash media trends, if that makes sense to an extent. So, uh, Xbox, you only have, uh, I don't know, like, like so much time until you need to get Drake, uh, as your strategic partner. So, I mean, time is of the essence Xbox. If you're trying to make these moves like Travis Scott or, you know, Sony, you know, (laughs) it was an interesting trailer though. It just, (laughs) it just had these, like these, uh, these, uh, older, uh, Japanese men dressed in Travis Scott gear, which is like, (laughs) And they seem like they were just indifferent about like, uh, yeah, uh, Travis Scott. I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Who knows? They, they could be like hardcore rap fans of Travis Scott. I, I, we don't know this. Uh, 
shifting gears. Uh, 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 you know what? Damn it. Uh, my tab. Shit. Shifting, shifting, uh, shif- shifting gears. Um, uh, the coalition, uh, the current developers for gears, the gear series, uh, they dropped some news that, uh, we're all, we're gonna, uh, I guess there's a plethora of gears five news, but I guess the biggest one was uh gears five, uh, story DLC, uh, called Hyde busters is coming later this year. So apparently it's going to be, uh, straight up new, uh, gears five story DLC. I'm thinking something along the lines of, I forgot what it was called, but the gears three DLC, uh, that came out that had like a totally, it was like a prequel or yeah, it took place like way before the first gears. Um, I'm guessing I'm getting those vibes, uh, at least with this one. Um, but they also announced a new game plus for campaign, which I thought was already a thing, but I guess it wasn't. Uh, I'm, I think it's pretty much you carry, uh, over your progress that you made to Jack in terms of upgrades. And uh, I guess various stuff you found, uh, will carry over into the new game, which I totally thought was a thing, but I never played gears campaign again after that. Um, just weird. And I guess, uh, okay. I news is that, uh, Dave Batista. Uh, you probably mostly know him from, um, damn, what is his name from guardians? Now I got to look it up. Dave Bautista. Dave Bo, Dave Bautista. I don't know. I'm saying it like that, but Dave Bautista, (laughs) some random cowboy. Oh, that's that there. Is that there Dave Bautista, isn't it? Um, Drax. Drax the Destroyer from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. He's also a pretty big, um, pretty big wrestler as well. Um, yeah, so apparently he's going to be uh, taking the role as Marcus Phoenix. It's optional, of course, because, yeah, people would be, like, losing their shit rioting if that was the case. But apparently he would... He will be taking the role of Marcus Phoenix, uh, in terms of voice and likeness. Um, so if you want to just mix up your campaign and just play as Dave, but have, have Dave Batista as, as Marcus Phoenix, my damn tomato. I don't know how he's going to sound, but I guess that's just, just weird. I don't know. It just, I think it's just like a weird. It presents a weird, like, um, a weird awkwardness where it's like, you know, John DiMaggio, who's the voice actor of, of Marcus Phoenix. It's like that weirdness, like, uh, so is he trying to take my role or is he going to take my role in the next game or like, what? So yeah, I think that's just always a weird, like why type thing it's like i don't know i just don't see a lot of people like uh you know what yeah let me play as let me put dave batista in this game let me play this campaign the dave batista mode or whatever I, i'm curious what they're gonna actually call this i guess it's probably just gonna be a feature or something they're gonna ask you like hey do you want to play play this with um dave batista as marcus phoenix <laughs> that's what I'm going to be if, uh, if, if, if I, if I, if I end up playing this, like, uh, <laughs> Hey, do you want to play this game with, uh, Dave Batista as Marcus Phoenix? <laughs> I, I, I guess I don't, but why I didn't ask for, <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'm literally talking to my series. I, I, I didn't ask for this though. <laughs> Literally gonna be. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it's funny. It, 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 it's funny to me. But <laughs> I, 
I, I guess. <laughs> just the immense, like, uncertainty <laughs> of just, just this, this addition, I guess. That's, I don't know, that's just me. But I mean, who knows? There's a lot. Probably at the Guardians, there's probably a lot of big, uh, big Batista fans out there. So I don't know. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Just the indifference is killing me, man. Oh, man. Oh, my God. But it's good to good to know, you know, uh, free upgrade with Gears 5 with this and me just like <laughs> literally <laughs> spending like 10 minutes in front of my Series X and be like, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh my stomach hurt. <laughs> <sighs> oh man, that's it. That's pretty great. That's pretty great, man. Um, uh, well, my cheeks hurt. Ah, <sighs> moving on. Uh, um, and uh, boy, yeah, this is not a good look at all. News. Um, Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, Cold War, uh, announced that uh. That storage space, uh, you gonna need some room, bro. That's pretty much what they said because uh, the required space is gonna be two hundred fifty gigabytes. So uh, if uh, if you can't optionally uh, move remove some of the you know game modes and stuff to make space, uh boy, uh, it's not gonna be a good look. For uh, Black Ops, um, apparently they didn't learn from Modern Warfare, even though Modern Warfare kind of, uh, you know, um, nutted up, if you will, and uh, actually lets you optionally remove some content um, for modes that you weren't playing anymore. So at least at the surface, uh, it looks like you do need 250 gigabytes if you want to play it. Uh, at least specifically on PC. I know, I think both consoles said that there are measures in place where you can un uninstall uh, segments of a game. Um, but I think that's on a developer basis or a developer option or up to the developer, basically. So who knows? It could Either way, it does seem to set a precedent that this might be the case for um, the console versions of Black Ops Cold War as well. So, <laughs> uh, cue to Jay Z cringe. Give <laughs> so, um, so I mean, it's specifically PC. So we don't, yeah, we don't really know if this is also the case for for consoles or. If it's uh, if you do, if you can optionally remove it after, because if you can, that makes things a lot better. It's understandable, like maybe the initial stall 250 gigabytes. Um, and then, you know, when you're done with the campaign, you can uninstall that or whatever. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, in Resident Evil reboot news, um, specifically the movie, not the TV show, but. We got a couple of screenshots showing the Resident Evil uh, movie reboot. Uh, yeah, I guess it. Uh, I'm seeing like it shows like a street that got like I think it's a street bridge crossing where it has Raccoon City on it. Uh, got Raccoon Raccoon parking. You know, if you if you you know you want the finest parking, go with Raccoon. Um. Showing some of the city, I guess this this was uh, from a person that was working on set with Resident Evil um, on the Resident Evil movie. Um, so at least it's a given that uh, at least underway is underway on production and stuff. So, I mean, at the surface, it's fine uh, uh, until we see them, them, re them iconic Resident Evil characters. That's when the that's when I think the real criticism will settle in. But at least for now. 
You you are right. You're right, Resident Evil movie. For now. You're safe for now. <laughs> As I you're safe for now, Resident Evil. You're safe for now. We'll see. Uh there's that. Um also <laughs> Uh, I was talking about this a little bit on Twitter. Um, got it. Just, just a round of applause for Xbox, man. I mean, if it's one thing, even though they're likely behind in terms of the console race, which I mean, I don't think that's necessarily their main goal anyway, but one thing about them is that, man, they stay, uh, staying in touch with, uh, I guess their perception and memes, um, which, you know, their, their, uh, their social media department need, needs a damn raise if, if they haven't got one already. Um, and, uh, this, this is pretty good. So Xbox actually, uh, with all the jokes about, you know, the Xbox series X looks like a refrigerator. And you know, Xbox was like, oh, 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 we look like a refrigerator. Oh, is that is that how y'all feel? All right, well, well, you know what? We gonna get we gonna get these refrigerators out then. So they straight up literally um I guess it seems like through some custom company or whatever, uh they actually sent out some literal Xbox Series X fridges to uh uh Snoop Dogg <laughs> got one. And, uh, I Justine, uh, got one. I think they're, yeah, they're, um, doing a giveaway for the third one, which, uh, you know, I shamelessly, uh, enter myself into sweepstakes. I think you just got to re retweet their, uh, follow them and retweet Xbox's, um, um, what is it? Ret retweet, retweet, <laughs> retweet their Twitter, um, with, I think Xbox series sweepstakes or something like that. So, um, you know, Hey, I'm just, uh, mine's well, I'm not, I wouldn't be able to do anything with it, but you know, I'm just, mine's well tried if I can. Um, so yeah, <laughs> what makes me, what was killing me in my head though, uh, specifically with Snoop Dogg with, uh, with the series X, um, uh, fridge is that <laughs> constantly in my head, the one video plays, uh, of him, like just ripping in the Xbox. <laughs> oh man. Uh, you know what? I got, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Only right. It's, it's only right. It's, it's only right. Is it? This is mandatory. It's, it's mandatory. It, it's got, it's, it's, it's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I got it. <laughs> uh, what was it? I gotta do it. A message, a message to Xbox, Xbox One, one or Michael Starbuck, Starbuck, whoever, whoever the fuck, y'all fucking, fucking Starbucks is fucking whack, whack man. Y'all gonna make me switch to PlayStation if y'all don't have to get this shit fixed. Is that difficult, is that to, difficult to play somebody online? online. What, what the fuck is you doing, doing Bill Gates? Gates? Fix your, fix your shit, shit, man. man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Out of Xbox, Phil Spencer talks about buying and adding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Oh, that kills me every time, man. <laughs> Fix your shit, Bill Gates. <laughs> Bill Gates is like, what? I mean, I'm just the, I'm the CEO, but. <laughs> uh, so, you know. <laughs> Oh man, that kills me every time, man. Ah, uh, oh man, that is hilarious. Ah oh, man, that gives me every time. <laughs> Fix your shit, man. <laughs> oh, 
Y'all gonna make me go to place. <laughs> oh man. Uh fuck. Damn. Um <laughs> who, Oh man. So I'm just curious how like things went from that <laughs> to him getting a damn uh Xbox fridge. I don't know if that's just like uh some not a pity or just like, you know, shame or whatever. <laughs> oh man, we pissed off Snoop Dogg. Ah oh, fuck, we gotta get him. We gotta give him that fridge. We got to put him on the list. So, <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. One more time. One more time. One more time. I, I just got. I can't. I can't. Had a Xbox. Had a Xbox. Phil Spencer, Phil Spencer talks, talks about buying, about buying an, an, an. No. A message, to, message Xbox to Xbox One, Microsoft, Microsoft, Microsoft or whoever the, whoever the fuck, fuck y'all fucking server is fucking whack, man. Y'all gonna, gonna, gonna make me switch to PlayStation if y'all don't have to get this shit fixed. Is that is that difficult to play somebody online? online? What, what the you fuck is you doing, doing Bill Gates? Fix your, <laughs> fix your <laughs> shit, man. A message, a message to, to Xbox, Xbox One, one or Microsoft or whoever the whoever fuck, fuck y'all fucking server is fucking whack, man. Y'all gonna make me switch to PlayStation if y'all don't have to get this shit fixed. Is that difficult to play somebody online? What the fuck is you doing, Bill Gates? Fix your fix your shit, man. Oh God! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> the fuck is you doing, Bill Gates? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh God! Oh man! That's going. That would get me every time. <laughs> oh my God! Oh. Oh man. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That just, that gets me every damn time. <laughs> the fuck is you doing Bill? G- <laughs> uh, shouts out to Bill Gates. Um, we appreciate you, man. We should have listened to you. Um, you know, to be in preparation for a pandemic, but we didn't listen and, and we all paying dearly for it either way. Um, that covers the news for this week. Uh, talk about, um, talk about what I've been playing. So, uh, I've been putting, putting that my 3090 through its paces, um, ran into a couple issues. Uh, so we about to get real nerdy right now. Uh, I got limited time, so I'm gonna make it quick, but, um, so first issue I had with trying to get RTX 3090 to play nice with my LG C9, um, was basically, uh, 4k 120, uh, wasn't working, uh, currently with the current firmware that's at least uh, available to the public. So, uh, did some research, did some sleuthing around. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I just had to did some sleuth around and, um, apparently they're, uh, they were working on a patch, uh, to, um, essentially, uh, make 4k 120, uh, enabled. Well, I think the issue is if you have 4k one, 4k 120, uh, HDR, uh, I think HDR was the issue. Well, I think just a combination of it all. I think if you just have 4k 120 turn HDR off, it, uh, technically would work, but I still kind of had some issues with that. So there was that. So basically had to research and then, uh, it looks like for some strange reason, uh, Korea got, uh, the firmware that we were, we're gonna get soon. Uh, but, um, LG recommended that you reach out to them to give you the beta firmware. Um, but when you try that, they said, uh, well, no, sorry. You're going to have to wait until November when we release it. And you know, I was like, LG, fuck you. So no, I didn't say that, but, uh, essentially that's what I did because, uh, did some research, went to the LG Korean website, 
downloaded the firmware uh, to a USB drive and installed it that way. So got that set up and then got that working on uh, on the uh, with the setup. So that seems to work so far. And then there's always the iffiness of your uh, HDMI cable, which is uh, one thing currently is that HDMI cables are they are uh, currently there isn't a an officially certified HDMI 2.1 cable that's currently out right now. There are HDMI 2.1 cables like on Amazon and stuff, but it technically hasn't. They technically aren't certifi certified, so it's going to be a fucking crapshoot for a lot of cables you're trying to get as in they may not potentially work and give you the full capabilities that HDMI 2.1 should entail. So with that, all that being an in, in, in factor, um, you know, pretty much got that going for the most part. Uh, Adobe Atmos is kind of iffy, uh, trying to get all that going, <laughs> uh, went through a couple cables and it didn't seem like, uh, it seems like it's either a driver issue with the 3090 or a driver issue with the, um, current version of, uh, the LG TV. So there's that fun in troubleshooting. That's <laughs> one of the things I despise about PC, but you know, Hey, the ends justify the means, right? So there's that. So pretty much after getting that out the way, everything does look pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's been, I, I think it's technically my first time, uh, playing 4k 120. I messed around with 1080p 120, but you know, it's like, uh, but it's not 4k, but now it's like, you don't have no excuse. So, you know, I was testing some games out, playing some counter strike. Jesus, my mouth was just watering the whole time. Um, uh, th this weird liquid start coming out again after all this for some strange reason. I don't know, but, um, yeah. So, uh, man, that uh, it's, it's a, that, that's a life changer, man. 4k 120 is great. Uh, after I've now been exposed to it and, you know, potentially for some, some games, uh, for the next generation of consoles, it's pretty great. Um, you know, thing to look forward to. So, uh, mess around with like halo, uh, master chief collection, which was great. Uh, man, 4k 120. It's, it's, it's a sight to behold. I have to tell you it's, it, it definitely lives up to the hype, um, from what I've been putting off for so long until now. So, um, yeah, uh, I was just messing around, drop, drop, uh, jumping around a lot of games. Like I was messing with max Payne three, resident evil two. Um, and yeah, man, it, it's good. It's good, man. You want to come to the dark side, man. You want to, I don't, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I do. I, Messing with PC makes me realize the convenience of, of console. And now the consoles are almost close to PCs to an extent. Um, I do see myself mainly sticking with consoles, but you know, with some games where it's like, yeah, this feels like a PC game stick with PC, you know? So, um, yeah. So overall I'm very satisfied with the 3090. Um, the performance is good. I know there's still a few kinks to be ironed out considering this is cutting edge technology with HDMI 2.1 and like the updates and stuff that needs to happen and things like that. So all in all, I'm very satisfied. I'm a very happy camper. Uh, one of the rings have been attained. I just need the other two and I will, uh, be able to change time and, uh, make the world snap. Um, call me nigga Thanos. Cause, <laughs> uh, never mind. Um, also been playing that modern warfare mortal multiplayer. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's really not much to say. <laughs> I mean, uh, the Halloween event, uh, was pretty good. Um, I've been playing that playlist and multiplayer that basically, uh, most of the maps are night mode and, um, what else? I think that's it. Most of the maps are night mode. And if you get like a kill streak, your head turns into a pumpkin, which is pretty dope too. So been enjoying that. You also get double X, uh, double battle pass XP. So that's been even more incentive to play. So, uh, but all in all, I pretty much completed most of my challenges. I'm pretty much on the like last five and, 
Uh, I think I'm like around the 85 level of battle pass rank and like almost maxed out in terms of my, uh, uh, hitting the 155 rank. So that's been good. Uh, like I mentioned, Halo four, um, I've been, uh, doing the flighting for Halo four on PC, which has uh, been pretty good, pr- pretty great experience and pretty like cool preview of what to expect when, um, Halo four comes to, or the update for Xbox one, uh, comes to series X with that 120 FPS. Cause I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it so much. So outside of that, it's pretty much been all, what am I playing? Um, I've been, uh, uh, media wise that slam dunk. Uh, actually I've been, uh, at least lately these past few days, I've not been watching it, but at least, uh, since last episode, I've been, I, I've been getting a lot of slam dunking and I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it now that we're kind of in the groove of things. And now that like Sak- Sakuragi main character is not like fucking, uh, you know, is he, is he, when is he going to be on a team? Uh, with all this like anticipation, you getting a little bit of that payoff, but now it's the fact that he's like, just so no vice of a basketball player. seems like he doesn't know the rules. He keeps falling out and stuff like that. Uh, but I know he'll get there. I think, uh, at least from what I'm, where I'm at, it seems like he's starting to find a stride in his role on the team, at least being the rebounder. That's kind of impression I'm getting so far. So, um, <laughs> it's been, it's been funny. Uh, he just be cracking me up just how ridiculous he is. And like, you know, I'm not going to give the ball to Rukawa Ruka and stuff like that. So thoroughly enjoying that. So all in all, I think that will do it. Uh, for episode 79 of Switch of Sights. Um, if, whoa, 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 stop. That was the wrong one. I, uh, I'm, I'm working on this. I'm working on this. Yeah. So if you, uh, did enjoy, uh, this podcast, feel free to like, rate, and subscribe on your various podcasting platforms. You can also catch me, uh, recording this live on Twitch, uh, Twitch TV slash a switch. Also catch the archive of this show, um, uh, on youtube.com slash a switch. Uh, I think that's it. Um, for now also follow me on Twitter at a switch as well. Um, and yeah, guys, uh, until next time, don't cough. Don't touch people that don't want to be touched. Uh, get your damn game on. Oh yeah. Nobody's safe.